Yahweh called to Moses and spoke to him out of the tent of meeting, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, When any one of you offers an offering to Yahweh, you shall offer your offering of the livestock from the herd and from the flock. If his offering is a burnt offering from the herd, he shall offer a male without blemish. He shall offer it at the door of the tent of meeting, that he may be accepted before Yahweh. He shall lay his hand on the head of the burnt offering, and it shall be accepted for him to make atonement for him. He shall kill the bull before Yahweh. Aaron's sons, the priests, shall present the blood and sprinkle the blood around on the altar that is at the door of the tent of meeting. He shall flay the burnt offering and cut it into pieces. The sons of Aaron, the priest, shall put fire on the altar and lay wood in order on the fire. And Aaron's sons, the priests, shall lay the pieces, the head, and the fat in order on the wood that is on the fire which is on the altar. But its innards and its legs he shall wash with water. The priest shall burn the whole on the altar for a burnt offering, an offering made by fire of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. If his offering is from the flock, from the sheep, or from the goats, for a burnt offering, he shall offer a male without blemish. He shall kill it on the north side of the altar before Yahweh. Aaron's sons, the priests, shall sprinkle its blood around on the altar. He shall cut it into its pieces with its head and its fat. The priests shall lay them in order on the wood that is on the fire which is on the altar. But the innards and the legs he shall wash with water. The priest shall offer the whole and burn it on the altar. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. If his offering to Yahweh is a burnt offering of birds, then he shall offer his offering of turtle doves or of young pigeons. The priest shall bring it to the altar and wring off its head and burn it on the altar, and its blood shall be drained out on the side of the altar. And he shall take away its crop with its filth and cast it beside the altar on the east part, in the place of the ashes. He shall tear it by its wings, but shall not divide it apart. The priest shall burn it on the altar, on the wood that is on the fire. It is a burnt offering, an offering made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. When anyone offers an offering of a meal offering to Yahweh, his offering shall be of fine flour, and he shall pour oil on it and put frankincense on it. He shall bring it to Aaron's sons, the priests, and he shall take his handful of its fine flour and of its oil with all its frankincense, and the priest shall burn its memorial on the altar, an offering made by fire of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. That which is left of the meal offering shall be Aaron's and his son's. It is a most holy thing of the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. When you offer an offering of a meal offering baked in the oven, it shall be unleavened cakes of fine flour mixed with oil, or unleavened wafers anointed with oil. 
If your offering is a meal offering of the griddle, it shall be of unleavened fine flour, mixed with oil. You shall cut it in pieces and pour oil on it. It is a meal offering. If your offering is a meal offering of the pan, it shall be made of fine flour with oil. You shall bring the meal offering that is made of these things to Yahweh, and it shall be presented to the priest, and he shall bring it to the altar. The priest shall take from the meal offering its memorial, and shall burn it on the altar, an offering made by fire of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. That which is left of the meal offering shall be Aaron's and his son's. It is a thing most holy of the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. No meal offering which you shall offer to Yahweh shall be made with yeast, for you shall burn no yeast nor any honey as an offering made by fire to Yahweh. As an offering of first fruits, you shall offer them to Yahweh, but they shall not ascend for a pleasant aroma on the altar. Every offering of your meal offering you shall season with salt. Neither shall you allow the salt of the covenant of your God to be lacking from your meal offering. With all your offerings, you shall offer salt. If you offer a meal offering of first fruits to Yahweh, you shall offer for the meal offering of your first fruits grain in the ear, parched with fire, bruised grain of the fresh ear. You shall put oil on it and lay frankincense on it. It is a meal offering. The priest shall burn as its memorial part of its bruised grain, and part of its oil, along with all its frankincense. It is an offering made by fire to Yahweh. If his offering is a sacrifice of peace offerings, if he offers it from the herd, whether male or female, he shall offer it without blemish before Yahweh. He shall lay his hand on the head of his offering, and kill it at the door of the tent of meeting. And Aaron's sons, the priests, shall sprinkle the blood around on the altar. He shall offer of the sacrifice of peace offerings an offering made by fire to Yahweh. The fat that covers the innards, and all the fat that is on the innards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the cover on the liver, with the kidneys, he shall take away. Aaron's sons shall burn it on the altar, on the burnt offering, which is on the wood that is on the fire. It is an offering made by fire, of a pleasant aroma to Yahweh. If his offering for a sacrifice of peace offerings to Yahweh is from the flock, male or female, he shall offer it without blemish. If he offers a lamb for his offering, then he shall offer it before Yahweh. And he shall lay his hand on the head of his offering and kill it before the tent of meeting. And Aaron's sons shall sprinkle its blood around on the altar. He shall offer from the sacrifice of peace offerings an offering made by fire to Yahweh. Its fat, the entire tail fat, he shall take away close to the backbone, and the fat that covers the inwards, and all the fat that is on the inwards and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, 
and the cover on the liver with the kidneys he shall take away. The priest shall burn it on the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire to Yahweh. If his offering is a goat, then he shall offer it before Yahweh. And he shall lay his hand on its head and kill it before the tent of meeting. And the sons of Aaron shall sprinkle its blood around on the altar. He shall offer from it as his offering, an offering made by fire to Yahweh, the fat that covers the innards, and all the fat that is on the innards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the cover on the liver, with the kidneys, he shall take away. The priest shall burn them on the altar. It is the food of the offering made by fire for a pleasant aroma. All the fat is Yahweh's. It shall be a perpetual statute throughout your generations and all your dwellings that you shall eat neither fat nor blood. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, If anyone sins unintentionally in any of the things which Yahweh has commanded not to be done, and does any one of them, if the anointed priest sins so as to bring guilt on the people, then let him offer for his sin which he has sinned, a young bull without blemish to Yahweh for a sin offering. He shall bring the bull to the door of the tent of meeting before Yahweh, and he shall lay his hand on the head of the bull and kill the bull before Yahweh. The anointed priest shall take some of the blood of the bull and bring it to the tent of meeting. The priest shall dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle some of the blood seven times before Yahweh, before the veil of the sanctuary. The priest shall put some of the blood on the horns of the altar of sweet incense before Yahweh, which is in the tent of meeting, and he shall pour out all of the rest of the blood of the bull at the base of the altar of burnt offering which is at the door of the tent of meeting. He shall take all the fat of the bull of the sin offering off of it, the fat that covers the innards, and all the fat that is on the innards, and the two kidneys, and the fat that is on them, which is by the loins, and the cover on the liver with the kidneys he shall take away as it is taken off of the bull of the sacrifice of peace offerings. The priest shall burn them on the altar of burnt offering. The bull's skin, all its flesh, with its head and with its legs, its innards and its dung. Even the whole bull shall he carry forth outside the camp to a clean place where the ashes are poured out and burn it on wood with fire. Where the ashes are poured out, it shall be burned. If the whole congregation of Israel sins, and the thing is hidden from the eyes of the assembly, and they have done any of the things which Yahweh has commanded not to be done, and are guilty, when the sin in which they have sinned is known, then the assembly shall offer a young bull for a sin offering, and bring it before the tent of meeting. The elders of the congregation shall lay their hands on the head of the bull before Yahweh, and the bull shall be killed before Yahweh. The anointed priest shall bring of the blood of the bull to the tent of meeting, and the priest shall dip his finger in the blood 
and sprinkle it seven times before Yahweh, before the veil. He shall put some of the blood on the horns of the altar, which is before Yahweh, that is in the tent of meeting, and the rest of the blood he shall pour out at the base of the altar of burnt offering, which is at the door of the tent of meeting. All its fat he shall take from it, and burn it on the altar. Thus shall he do with the bull, as he did with the bull of the sin offering, so shall he do with this. And the priest shall make atonement for them, and they shall be forgiven. He shall carry forth the bull outside the camp, and burn it as he burned the first bull. It is the sin offering for the assembly. When a ruler sins, and unwittingly does any one of all the things which Yahweh his God has commanded not be done, and is guilty, if his sin, in which he has sinned, is made known to him, he shall bring as his offering a goat, a male without blemish. He shall lay his hand on the head of the goat, and kill it in the place where they kill the burnt offering before Yahweh. It is a sin offering. The priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger, and put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering. He shall pour out the rest of its blood at the base of the altar of burnt offering. All its fat he shall burn on the altar, like the fat of the sacrifice of peace offerings. And the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin, and he will be forgiven. If any one of the common people sins unwittingly in doing any of the things which Yahweh has commanded not to be done, and is guilty, if his sin, which he has sinned, is made known to him, then he shall bring for his offering a goat, a female without blemish, for his sin, which he has sinned. He shall lay his hand on the head of the sin offering, and kill the sin offering in the place of burnt offering. The priest shall take some of its blood with his finger, and put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering, and the rest of its blood he shall pour out at the base of the altar. All its fat he shall take away, like the fat is taken away from off of the sacrifice of peace offerings, and the priest shall burn it on the altar for a pleasant aroma to Yahweh, and the priest shall make atonement for him, and he will be forgiven. If he brings a lamb as his offering for a sin offering, he shall bring a female without blemish. He shall lay his hand on the head of the sin offering and kill it for a sin offering, in the place where they kill the burnt offering. The priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering with his finger, and put it on the horns of the altar of burnt offering, and all the rest of its blood he shall pour out at the base of the altar. All its fat he shall take away, like the fat of the lamb is taken away from the sacrifice of peace offerings, and the priest shall burn them on the altar, on the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. And the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin that he has sinned, and he will be forgiven. If anyone sins, in that he hears the voice of adjuration, he being a witness, whether he has seen or known, if he doesn't report it, then he shall bear his iniquity. Or if anyone touches any unclean thing, whether it is the carcass of an unclean animal, or the carcass of unclean livestock, or the carcass of unclean creeping things, and it is hidden from him, and he is unclean, 
then he shall be guilty. Or if he touches the uncleanness of man, whatever his uncleanness is with which he is unclean, and it is hidden from him, when he knows of it, then he shall be guilty. Or if anyone swears rashly with his lips to do evil or to do good, whatever it is that a man might utter rashly with an oath, and it is hidden from him, when he knows of it, then he shall be guilty of one of these. It shall be, when he is guilty of one of these, he shall confess that in which he has sinned, and he shall bring his trespass offering to Yahweh, for his sin which he has sinned, a female from the flock, a lamb or a goat, for a sin offering. And the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin. If he can't afford a lamb, then he shall bring his trespass offering for that in which he has sinned, two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, to Yahweh, one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering. He shall bring them to the priest, who shall first offer the one which is for the sin offering, and wring off its head from its neck, but shall not sever it completely. He shall sprinkle some of the blood of the sin offering on the side of the altar, and the rest of the blood shall be drained out at the base of the altar. It is a sin offering. He shall offer the second for a burnt offering, according to the ordinance, and the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin, which he has sinned, and he shall be forgiven. But if he can't afford two turtle doves or two young pigeons, then he shall bring his offering for that in which he has sinned the tenth part of an ephah of fine flour for a sin offering. He shall put no oil on it, neither shall he put any frankincense on it, for it is a sin offering. He shall bring it to the priest, and the priest shall take his handful of it as the memorial portion, and burn it on the altar, on the offerings of Yahweh made by fire. It is a sin offering. The priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin that he has sinned in any of these things, and he will be forgiven, and the rest shall be the priest's as the meal offering. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, If anyone commits a trespass and sins unwittingly in the holy things of Yahweh, then he shall bring his trespass offering to Yahweh, a ram without blemish from the flock, according to your estimation, in silver by shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, for a trespass offering. He shall make restitution for that which he has done wrong in the holy thing, and shall add a fifth part to it, and give it to the priest, and the priest shall make atonement for him with the ram of the trespass offering, and he will be forgiven. If anyone sins and does any of the things which Yahweh has commanded not to be done, though he didn't know it, yet he is guilty, and shall bear his iniquity. He shall bring a ram without blemish from of the flock, according to your estimation, for a trespass offering to the priest, and the priest shall make atonement for him concerning the thing in which he sinned and didn't know it, and he will be forgiven. It is a trespass offering. He is certainly guilty, before Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, If anyone sins and commits a trespass against Yahweh 
and deals falsely with his neighbor in a matter of deposit, or of bargain, or of robbery, or has oppressed his neighbor, or has found that which was lost, and dealt falsely therein, and swearing to a lie, in any of all these things that a man does, sinning therein. Then it shall be, if he has sinned, and is guilty, he shall restore that which he took by robbery, or the thing which he has gotten by oppression, or the deposit which was committed to him, or the lost thing which he found, or anything about which he has sworn falsely, he shall restore it even in full, and shall add a fifth part more to it. To him to whom it belongs, he shall give it, in the day of his being found guilty. He shall bring his trespass offering to Yahweh, a ram without blemish from the flock, according to your estimation, for a trespass offering to the priest. The priest shall make atonement for him before Yahweh, and he will be forgiven concerning whatever he does to become guilty.